one of the things that can get you a husband in this life is loyalty. Loyalty. There is nothing in the men's kingdom that men bow for like loyalty. You were sitting down. They say, see that babe over there. You know who they come out with that babe? They say, the guy going out with that beautiful woman is either working in the civil service or is a teacher. Then a millionaire goes into his Rolls Royce and drives to go and see that woman. And the woman tells him, sir, take you and your stupid car and get the fuck out of my face. That babe, the honor and integrity and dignity she has received from that scenario, you cannot buy it with money. You cannot buy it with money. And the whole city will hear about it. And guess what? If you do that two or three times, you will open people's eyes in such a way that there's the real people that will come, that will come, want to come and marry you. Because they know this babe, she, she's just not, she's, she's not like that. Loyalty, loyalty. There's nothing that kills men like you see a beautiful woman. And then you ask, say, who be her guy? They say, a teacher. Say, a mechanic. And then you try to enter and then discover you can't. There's nothing that gives women honor like that thing. But if you are a list babe, you know what I call a list babe? You're the kind of babe that men have you on a list. They say, if you get small money, enter, you will succeed. So everybody has you on a list for the year. Those who are going to meet Babalawo, once the money comes in, they will come and meet you. You're on their list. The guy that is waiting for politics money, once the money kicks in, he'll come and meet you. You're on his list. The guy that is waiting for 419 money to materialize, once the money hits, he comes to you. You're on his list. The guy that is waiting for any kind of money to come into his hands knows that once he gets this money, one of the easiest people he's going to get and have fun with for this year, 2021, is you. You're done. You and Ashawo are on the same level. On the same level. And you know the funny and the saddest part of this is the part where guys are advising other guys. They say, you want that, babe? They say, eh. say just save $1,000. Just save a little money, maybe $1,000 or so. Save with his bad breath and his bad body hygiene and his body odor. The guy looking at you because you're like a fantasy. He's saving hard. And guess what? When he saves the $1,000 and maybe much, a little bit more money than that, he comes and he enters clean. It is so sad. In your mind, it's a secret affair. It's a secret thing you're doing, you know? But really, honestly, in the men's world, and I'm releasing a secret to you today, all the men know. All the men know. They know. Because that guy, for the fact that he has entered, will tell the whole world. Because he never, it's a dream he could have never attained. He's going to tell the whole world in excitement. He's excited. That's he cannot, it's just like you won the lottery. You can't hide the excitement. You will tell people. So he would tell the whole world how he was able to, you know, with his bad breath, his body odor, his bad dress sense and everything, how he was able to be with you. If there's anything that you cannot buy with money is the honor that comes from loyalty. That a man comes out of his private jet and drives in his Bugatti to come and meet you and you tell him, sir, please just leave me alone. Go and face your wife. I already have someone. And he shouts and he will say it. He say, is it that stupid boy working with the civil service? And he says, yes, even as stupid as he is, I love him. The, he will not be happy. He will be angry. He will say everything that he could say in this world that he should not say to you. But I promise you, he will respect you. And I promise you, those who hear the story will respect you. There is nobody. And let me tell you something that women don't know. If you turn down a man like that, the second man, the third man. Sometimes there's a game you play. It's not all money you accept. There's a way you turn down people. The fourth one that is coming says, I want to marry this woman. They come correct. But if you are the one that anybody that has saved a thousand dollars can enter, who is going to take you? That is, there's nothing special about you. You are easy access. There's nothing special about you. <laughs> Just saying. Just saying. And I'm revealing to you how men think.